Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Michelle. If you want to go ahead and see or how I created this look using all affordable makeup, just go ahead and keep on watching and don't forget to subscribe before you go. Okay, so first I'm going to prep my skin and I'm going to be using the NYX um, First Base <clears throat> Primer Spray. And then we're going to be going in with the Revlon Photo Ready Airbrush Effect. And I'm in shade, I don't know, oh, 005 Natural Beige. And then I mix my foundation, so I'm going to also be going in with the Maybelline Matte Poreless in the shade 230. And we're just going to blend this out. The Revlon Airbrush Effect Foundation worked really, really good. It's really, it's medium to full coverage and it blends out good. Next, I'm gonna be, um, setting my face with the Maybelline Fit Me in shade 310 powder and just applying this all over my face. But as you can see, like the two combos that I used for it being drugstore, you can tell like it has some coverage to it. It's like really good coverage actually. Next for my concealer, I'm gonna be going in with the LA uh, girl and then also the NYX HD. I'm going to use this one under my eyes and then I'm going to use this one as a combo over it. Just this is a little bit lighter so it's going to be used as more like a highlighting concealer versus like this one is more towards my skin tone color. So this one's going to be more like a coverage. how it brightens it up just because it's a lighter lighter tone on the other one next I'm gonna be setting my face with the wet and wild this is the Magoglo um, contouring palette oh, if I can open it And this stuff, I really like this stuff. And it's like a affordable, it's like three or four dollars for this. And you get the setting, like a, the setting powder, and you get the bronzer contour. Next, because we're going for a dramatic look, I'm gonna be using the Hard Candy Contour. This is a highlight and contour face duo stick. And this is in the shade Light. I don't know how it's light, but we're going to be grabbing the brownish color and we're going to intense where we're going to be highlighting, I mean contouring because this is a more dramatic look. I'm going to be working on my forehead and getting that just co the contour more intense than what we would usually do. I'm scared to do my chin. No, I'm not gonna do it. Yeah, we could try it. I never contoured my whole face like this. Next, I'm going to be grabbing this angled stiff brush and just wiping away 
and blending in the um, setting. Oh crap, I forgot to. Next, I'm gonna be grabbing that Wet n Wild, excuse me, palette again, and I'm gonna be grabbing that, ooh, that bronzer. Uh, um, I'm just intensifying your cheeks because it is a more dramatic look bring it up I'm gonna work the forehead and I like where the grayish looks Okay, so for my cheeks, I'm going to be going in with the NYX um, blush. This is in shade Desert Rose. And I'm going to just put that there. Kind of more high towards the, kind of like the hairline, more towards that area versus all the way to the front. Heck of pigmented. So it's more towards upward versus like slap on your face okay so I already did one brow so I was kind of I wanted to try it off camera because I'm so nervous I was so nervous about my brows because I'm hecka picky when it comes to my brows and what products I use I'm more, I use more high-end products versus um, affordable brands but we're gonna go ahead and go in with the wet and wild um, brown pencil and I'm just gonna, this is kind of just gonna be like a tracer of what, where and how much you wanna color in your brows. Or this is kind of like more of a color in two. And then we're gonna go in with the um, Maybelline Define a Brow in medium brown. And this is gonna, this is where you're gonna more trace out out of the box kind of this is serious y'all so if you don't hear me talk it's because I stay focused Okay, so I'm done with the brows. It's looking pretty good so far for uh, affordable makeup. Like the, I'm telling you, everything set in with the foundation. This works really, really good. Okay, so let's move on. Okay, so first we're gonna start off with the NYX. This is um, mellow yellow, and we're gonna use this as our transition shade, believe it or not, but this is gonna be our transition shade, and we're gonna bring it all the way outward. Next, we're going to be using the J Cat, and this is more of like a shimmer shadow. It's a loose powder, and we're going to be using this um, over the lid, just like that. 
sure how pigmented this is. And these are like three or four dollars for the shimmer. So we're kind of gonna put that right over the lid. And you're gonna form like a just like your like a circle, I guess. I don't know, a half moon. Just like that. Next, we're gonna be going in back with the next blush. And we're gonna use this blush as a um, eyeshadow. And we're just gonna go ahead and hit the corner of the eyes and dragging it outward with the light hand, just blending it outward. It's fine if we go out of this area outward because this um because most most time unless you do like a long longer wing most of the time you want to stick from to where the end of your eyebrow is to the corner of your eye and keep your eyeshadow um try to keep your eyeshadow unless you're doing like a dramatic dramatic look like we're doing today but you want to just go ahead and drag it out you can drag it towards the end right here we're just going to use this as the as the eyeshadow at the corner corner and just work with it next we're going to be going in with the wet and wild again and we're going to be using that if I can get it, that brown shade and we're going to intensify the inner corners well, i don't think that's dark enough so next my allergies are killing me. So next we're going to go back in with that yellow. And we're going to hit the corners, the inner corners. And you can kind of drag it down a little bit. But to intensify the inner corners and not lose that yellow color. And then kind of blend everything out. So, you're, so with that, the gold that we use, there's not like any harsh lines. And then we're going to do the same thing on the other side. You can bring it down try to keep your hand more towards the end of the brush so you're not using like a harsh hand especially if you're heavy handed or anything so next we're going to go in with the whiter yellowish shade from NYX and we're going to hit the brow bone with this My allergy's been jacking me up. And just do it on both sides. And then we're gonna grab a blending brush and with a really, really light hand, like literally, like you're gonna let go of the brush, you're gonna swish back and forth. You can blend this out too. Swish back and forth. You can blend out this over here. So for under the eye, because this is not like our normal everyday look, we're going to go in with NYX again. And this is the color Ocean, and it's like a pretty, pretty shimmery, I don't know if you can see it, like that shimmery, shimmery blue. It's like a light blue. We're going to just drag this and blend it out under the eye. And then kind of just blend these two together. So we're going to intensify under and we're going to grab NYX again and this is in the shade um, Atlantic and we're just going to get a smaller brush and just barely tap just to intensify the blue at the bottom. So 
So before we start getting all crazy on drawing on our face, sorry, I'm getting up close and personal with you. We're gonna go ahead and do the highlight. And for the highlight, we're gonna be using the LA Girl uh, Strobe Light Strobing Powder. <sighs> I'm kinda scared with this because it's really, really white. Um, if it's too white, I'm gonna mix it. But we're gonna grab this color and we're just gonna highlight. It's not that bad. It's kind of white. Mm -hmm. And then I'm gonna also grab this white. Um, it's, a, it, I, it's white to me, but this highlight. And I'm going to put that in the inner corners of my eyes. Even though we have that yellow, you see how it makes a difference, giving you that glow in the inner corner. Because even though this look kind of crazy, you know, we still got to look glam. Glam! So I already applied my eyeliner, as you can see. And I use the Wet n Wild. This is like my best thing. I use this either Wet n Wild or ELF like on a daily if I wear eyeliner. And this is the Wet n Wild Mega Liner. Best thing ever. So we're gonna work on the eyelashes before we start drawing all the craziness on our face. And what I discovered was an eyelash primer. If you don't wear false eyelashes, this is the best thing for you is the eyelash primer to intent intensify your eyelashes and this is the wet and wild lash primer so we're gonna apply this first before we apply our mascara I am going to put eyelashes on just because it is a dramatic look um, but I mean if you want to wear this look on a daily be my guest who cares what anybody says or what anybody thinks if you like it do it so I'm going to prime the bottom of my lashes lashes and the top of my lashes with the wet and wild primer and I think this is like two or three dollars at your local Walmart or Target next we're gonna be going into the Maybelline um, this is the pump up colossal volume express maybelline overall is a good product so i i i'm like into more of my different higher brands or sometimes i don't even wear mascara to work but this one works really really good too obviously because i bought it but sometimes i don't wear sometimes when you start buying a lot of different makeups like more expensive or more high cost you kind of forget how your less expensive makeup really works and as you can see like everything that we use so far has been so pigmented and has worked so well so it's kind of giving me an eye-opener of what I need to use more often but let's just keep on going And you don't want to do this. If you do that, don't do it anymore. Because all you're doing is you're creating air into your mascara and you're going to dry it up. So if you are the person that does not buy high expensive makeup or prefers or just can't afford it or whatever the case may be. If you have your last dollars on your best mascara, don't pump it because you're just gonna dry it out and about two weeks later, you're gonna have to go buy another one. Okay, so here is the white liner. This is by Clean Color. This was like $2 at my local little store. We're gonna start by putting it at the bottom of our eyes. So I don't even know what brand that is. I don't know if you've ever heard of that brand. I've never heard of that brand. Um, so I don't know, but it was cheap, so it, 
blended right well into my affordable makeup with this affordable makeup look. So I'm kind of scared <sighs> with where I'm going to apply these dots and these crazy nose. I should put, oh, I forgot my lipstick. Let me get my lipstick first and then we'll move on to the lines because I got to do the line on the lip. So I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm back. So since we went dramatic on the eyes and we're bright on the eyes, I'm going to do more of a darker nude tone on the lips like a gray brown gray nude then this is the NYX lingerie these work really good I like them I've seen mixed reviews on them but I personally excuse me like them and this is in scandalous so let's apply this first before we start applying anything else Okay, so I applied everywhere where I wanted to. I applied it to, and then now I'm going to go in and put on my eyelashes. This is by Ardell. And then for the eyelash glue, we're going to be using the Duo. These are both, you can find both of these at Target. So I'm going to go ahead and apply these, and I'll be right back. So lastly, we're going to be using the Matte Finish NYX. This is the Mattifying Finishing Spray. So we're gonna go ahead and apply this. Okay, so I applied my false lashes. So this is the final look. So this was a real eye opener to me to see how the um, affordable like you can do a dramatic look with affordable you don't always have to use high-end products 
so the even my eyebrows I was so nervous with my eyebrows and it came out wonderful so I hope you enjoyed this video don't forget to subscribe um, and that's about it I'll see you guys later